Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're going to be reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2022. This will be a three-card general reading, so take the message that resonate, leave the rest behind. If you guys would like to see what's going on in your personal life, as always, you can check out my website on Lady Scorpius at LadyScorpiusTarot.com, as well as my products on there. I have ritual candles on there, self-love kits, um, money oil, all kinds of stuff. So check it out, you guys. Um, also, if you'd like to book a personal reading um, by phone, you can do so at 202-599-7705. Once again, this is for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2022. We're going to see what's going on. We're using my Oracle deck by me. Um, this is the Flower Child Oracle. And yeah, we're going to clarify with Tarot. So let's see what's going on for my Cancers for the month of May. By the way, you guys, I am a Cancer Moon, so shout out to us. <laughs> All right. Universal Spirit, Angels, Ascending Guys, and Masters. Please give me messages for gods and goddesses. Please give me messages for my Cancers. Some new rise and limits for the month of May 2022. I ask for you to give me messages on the general. I mean, out of love, light, and clarity. General messages only for my Cancers. Some new rise and limits for the month of May 2022. What can my cancers expect? What's coming towards my cancers? What advice should they have? What should, should they know? You know, give me messages for my cancer spirits. Some of rising and Venus for the month of May 2022. Three cards only. Give me messages for my cancers. Some of rising and Venus for the month of May. Okay. All right. They came on out. They came on out. Mm. All right. So the overall energy cancer is true love. Okay, so some of you guys, you match your true love. I feel like this month, you're going to be focused on love, <laughs> your relationship, your romantic partnership, maybe your marriage if you're married. Um, some of you guys, you're feeling like you're going towards a true love partner. Maybe somebody that you reconcile, reconcile with. And this is the person that you really feel like is your true love. You know, and I feel like this month, love is going to be on your mind. <laughs> this is the Oracle deck. We have 100 cards in this deck. Or 99 in my in my Oracle deck. Um, and just so happened that the overall energy for you is love, okay? Which is beautiful. Um, the first card we have is fame and popularity. We have self-love and healing. And we have Mr. Popular or Mrs. Popular. Some of you guys are connected to somebody that's definitely famous or popular. Because we have Mr. or Mrs. Popular. Then we have fame and popularity. Definitely, you could be famous or you could be popular cancer. You could have a lot of followers on your socials. You know, um, or you can have like a, you know, YouTube, whatever the case may be, have a lot of subscribers, whatever the case may be. I just feel like, or you could have a partner that you're dealing with that's famous or popular or, you know, just have like, just know a lot of people, you know, just know a lot of people. Have a big circle of friends or associates. I just feel like this could be you for the most part, Cancer, though. But I feel like also um, self-love and healing is very important to you this month. So you could be also like exuding a whole bunch of love, true love. Um, loving on yourself as well, focus on self-love, healing any past wounds with this true love. Like I said, it could be a reconciliation that you're going through. Um, and I feel like even for some of you guys, a small group of you guys, Spirit is saying that if you start some type of YouTube or some type of channel or some type of business surrounding self-love and healing, it's going to bring you fame and popularity because you're good at that. You're a cancer. You're good at healing. You're good at being authentic in your emotions and Moving forward and, and, and working together with a person through trials and tribulations, you know, and doing it with integrity when you're in love, when you really respect this person. It's the same mutual energy. Um, so you're just saying if you tap into that field of like self-love healing, you can bring in a lot of fucking popularity to yourself, okay? <laughs> That's for a small group of you guys, but the universe just want you to trust the universe. Maybe some of you guys, like I said, this is love that's heavy in your mind right now. Some of you guys have been going through some type of self-love and healing. You can have a lot of people surrounding you right now, but you're wanting to bring in true love or just focus on true love. Like I said, a lot of people could be wanting you right now, cancer. You can have a lot of suitors, but you're not focused on that. You're focused on self-love and healing, and you're focused on this person that's on your heart chakra. I mean, that's, on, that's pulling on your heart strings. All right? Let's clarify fame and popularity for my Cancer Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of May 2022. Why is fame and popularity here for my Cancer Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of May 2022? Okay, we have the Page of Swords and <laughs> Six of Cups. So when I see your fame and popularity, you popular Cancer. You got people spying on your socials. It could be somebody from your past. It could be friends, people that you could have knew from a childhood that you went to school with or past lovers, 
with the page of swords they could be spying on you um you're very popular this person can be on your socials trying to get clarity see what you're doing see if you're in love see if you have any children see where your life is at <laughs> i see just people being nosy and this person could be um somebody that you know betrayed you at one point in time seven of swords this person can be very sneaky you you could be dealing with gemini libra aquarius we have a lot of swords um scorpio cancer pisces like i said it's somebody from your past that you already could have like closed out because they were sneaky they could have betrayed you backstabbed you very secretive um they could have had you in competition you could have been in competition with this person or you felt like they was in competition with you but the father saw this person brought in a lot of mental confusion chaos and this person gonna do a lot of shit for a reaction i just feel like it could have been toxic energy toxic communication i feel like you're very popular and i just feel like you got people from the past that's spying on you they're trying to see what you're up to. They're trying to see, you know, who you're dealing with, if you're in love. I just feel like it's people from the past, past lovers, past relationships, past friends. Um, and, yeah, they see you doing your thing, Cancer. That's beautiful. <laughs> they see you doing your thing. But you ain't worrying about them, okay? And clarify the page of swords for my Cancer. Some we rise in the Venus for the month of May 2022. Who's spying on Cancer? Why are they spying on Cancer? Clarify the page of swords. All right. We have the world card. Some of you guys, it could be a fixed sign. Some of you guys, this could be maybe a Taurus. This is going to be a Scorpio. This can be a Aquarius or a Leo that could be spying on you or just like, you could have closed off this chapter. They could be just wanting information about you. Maybe you guys are not speaking to this person. You no longer deal with this person. Um, but I just feel like the world card, like I said, you could have ended this cycle. It could have been a friendship or an old relationship that was just outdated and old and you just cleansed it out your life. With the cycle, you, you learned a lesson through this connection. You realized that it was not serving you. You know, this was just a lesson. With the world card, this is like a cycle that had to end. You had to close out that chapter and move on with your life, okay? Go towards your destiny, your journey. And I feel like this person see that they're no longer privy to your life. In your lifestyle, whatever energy that you was giving them at one point in time. So now they're trying to spy and see what's going on in your life. Okay, so this is definitely somebody that you already closed off the cycle with that's trying to be nosy. Okay. Let's find the seven swords. Who's being sneaky towards cancer? What is the seven swords here for cancer? We have the five of wands. So yeah, this could be somebody that you had a fallen out with. You know, this is the five of wands in reverse. So you release this arguing, this chaos, this competition. You release competition out your life. Any friends that was coming in competitive, combative, that was coming in very negative, upside down. Like, you're releasing that from your life. Anybody that's coming in sneaky, you know, that's coming in with, you know, ill intentions. They have, they have hidden agendas. You're not dealing with that cancer. You're cutting it out your life, okay? You no longer want to argue and fight with people. You know, because you're popular. I just feel like you got a lot of different people that's in your business, Cancer. So I found self-love and healing for my Cancer Summer Rise and Venus for the month of May 2022. Why self-love and healing here for my Cancer Summer Rise and Venus for the month of May 2022. Why is the self-love and healing card here for my Cancer Summer Rise and Venus for the month of May 2022? I feel like also Cancer, I just got like a message that... But the ones that you might feel like people are spying on you, I also feel like people can be trying to make fake pages or sending their friends to spy on you through your socials, okay? I just got that. <laughs> it's crazy. The shit that people do to be desperate for information to be privy into your life is crazy. Here I found self-love and healing. All right. Yeah, we have the Magician card. We have the Cherry card, the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, and the Four of Wands. God damn. That's on fire. So a lot of you guys are stepping into your Magician magician energy right here. You could be dealing with Aquarius. But I feel like this is you, Cancer. You're taking action towards the things that you want. You're manifesting your destiny. You're manifesting what you want. You know that you have all the tools that you need to manifest and create whatever journey or destiny that you want. I feel like with the Magician card, it's like you have the emotional capacity. You have the ability, the abundance. You have the action, the courage to move forward. And then you also have, like, the, the mental capacity as well, the, the intellect, you know, to make better decisions in this time around. It could be surrounding the true love. We have the chariot of cards. So a lot of you guys are taking action. You're moving forward. This can be you guys moving towards somebody. Um, I feel like the ten of cups being here, you guys could be moving towards a partnership, a marriage. Maybe you want somebody to move in with you. Um, maybe you're traveling towards somebody that you love. Um, this person could be coming to see you as well. Maybe they want to move with you. Maybe you want to move towards this person because you truly love this person with the Ten of Cups. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, and I just, or somebody from the past that's returning. Um, I just feel like also could be Leo, Sagittarius with the Emperor card. I'm sorry, Leo. I'm sorry, not 
video but aries or taurus with the emperor card that we have a deal with your aries with the four wands that you could be connected to i do feel like some of you guys are trying to take action trying to be in control with the emperor card you're being mature this time around you're standing your ground with the four wands some of you guys are definitely wanting to move forward and make this high level commitment and get married or you know level up this partnership i feel like some of you guys could be connected to a twin flame or a soulmate with the two of wands it's like this is a pair you know, so you feel like this person, you love this person, you can see yourself marrying this person. You know, you, you are working on, you have worked on a lot of self-love and healing. So it's like now you're coming towards this person trying to manifest healing with this person. Love, agape love, or just pure love. And standing your ground and being on your square when it comes to relationship. Being confident in your relationship with the emperor. Taking action in this relationship and manifesting your, what you want, which is love and healing. Alright, that's beautiful. Oof. Some of you guys, for some of you guys, you're wanting this, but you cannot be speaking to this person right now. Maybe you're taking some time out to think about it first or how you're going to come towards this and make action. Take action towards this connection with self-love, self-healing, and love, and like giving your love to this person that you're dealing with, that you're thinking about with this true love right here. Because we have the two of wands and we have the hermit. Some of you guys, it could be a Virgo or it can be a, a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius. But I do feel like some of you guys will need to take action and come out of hermit mode. Some of you guys might not be speaking to this person or might be away from this person. Maybe you might be at a distance for this person. You might not live together, but you're wanting this. This is what you're wanting, this connection to come together. But I feel like some of you guys will just need to take action, okay? Or you will be taking action towards. You will be coming out of hermit mode and taking action towards this connection and what you want, okay? All right, let's clarify Mr. Popular. Let's clarify Mr. Popular or Mrs. Popular. Why is Mr. Popular and Mrs. Popular here for my cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of May 2022? Why is Mr. Popular and Mrs. Popular here? We have the Queen of Wands, so Leo Sagittarius. Some of you guys are very sexy, very attractive, male to female. You have a lot of people looking at you this month. You could be very popular maybe some of you guys might also like be an entrepreneur you might own your own business you might go like parties or go to a lot of social events i'm just saying like you know you can be very courageous you are action oriented person a go-getter type of person male or female i just feel like a lot of people are looking at you right now they think you're very attractive attractive or whatever clarify mr popular or mrs popular for my cancer summer wrap for the month of may 2020 and yeah, we have the page of pentacles Capricorn, um, towards a Virgo. Somebody definitely sees you as somebody popular, um, cancer. They see you as very sexy, attractive. Somebody's definitely wanting to come in with a message about making you an offer. This could be taking you out to eat, you know, coming to see you, spending some money on you, spending some time with you with the Page of Pentacles. Something small, something tangible, you know what I'm saying? Not nothing too big, but I do feel like you're looking good right now. You could be very popular, just have a lot of suitors. Um, that's looking at you, but I do feel like some of you guys just got true love on your mind. Like, you know that you got a lot of people around you that want to get opportunity with you, will take you out, will see you, but you're wanting someone else, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Clarify Mr. and Mrs. Popular for my cancer, some moon rising and Venus for the month of May 2022. Why is Mr. and Mrs. Popular here for my cancer? All right, yeah, we have the four cups and the lovers. Like I said, you got people that's wanting to offer you some shit, but you're not looking at it because you're bored. You're discontent with these offers, Cancer, because you're going after your true love. We have the lovers card here. You're wanting true love in your life. You're wanting spiritual love. You're wanting a deep connection. You're wanting agape love. You're wanting a deep spiritual bond. And I feel like you're coming towards that. Trust the universe that's coming. It's coming in for you. Some of you guys right now can have a choice between two lovers. Or you can have a spiritual bond that's around you right now. Very deep, passionate love. And, you know, maybe you're trying to connect with this person. Um, maybe this person's trying to connect with you, but you're not seeing it. Or vice versa, take what resonates. Because I feel like maybe you got people. For some of you guys, you got definitely got different people coming at you. But you're not even looking at it. You're, you're bored with these connections. You're bored with these offers. It's not the offer that you want. You're wanting the lover's energy. You're wanting some of you guys you're going to be connecting with a Gemini. Or the person you can you could be connecting to might have Gemini in their chart. Um, but I do feel like you're wanting a high level commitment, you know, you're not really, you know, you're popular, you know, people's making you offers, people asking you all on date, they're trying to give you some type of emotional cup, but you're like emotionally unavailable for these people, cancer. <laughs> You're focused on your higher level of love. Some of you guys can be married or in a partnership already or just wanting to build with a person that you see yourself having a family with, being stable with, being solid with. You know, you're not focusing on any uh, uh, half-assed love offers, okay? Some of you guys are focusing on the money, focusing on your stability, your children, if you have any. We got a card. A couple. Yeah, Ace of Swords, clarity. You got clarity to a situation or you will be getting clarity to a situation. 
surrounding the wheel of fortune things will be working in your favor right this is a relationship coming together new love this is going to be also traveling a new home a new job opportunity new business some of you guys got a lot of things coming towards you we also have a higher learning higher level of commitment maybe some of you guys are moving forward turning the wheel now um and going towards your true love we have the two of cups that came right behind us some of you guys scope your cancer pisces you're connecting with your soulmate you know, a person you got a lot of love for is coming in. I feel like it can be some challenges right now, maybe some blockages, but it will lead to some type of sun. You know, you're going to lead to some type of peace. It's going to it's going to bring peace into your life when you guys actually connect and work on self-love or healing this connection. But just know that you do have some haters around. But trust the universe that everything is working on your favor. They can keep on watching. A lot of you guys are going into your entrepreneurship. But have patience. Have faith with your business if you're trying to start a business. Um, just refocus, okay? So let's go ahead and roll the dice and see what's going on. We're going to use my astrology dice and see what house you guys should focus on for the month of May. The universe of spirit, angels, and guys, and masters, please give us the house that that Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus should be focusing on for the month of May. Three. So some of you guys should be focusing on the third house. So the third house is all about communication, siblings, neighborhoods, local travel, schools, libraries, community affairs. I do feel like for some of you guys, because we did have the uh, queen of pentacles, a lot of you guys have children or have like a lot of responsibilities and you will be focusing on family, love, um, you know, just local travel, siblings, taking care of the family, communicating your thoughts because we do have that ace of swords. So this is clear communication coming in, clarity coming in as well. And affairs, you know, community affairs. Some of you guys will be in the community this month heavy. You might got a lot of birthday parties or social events going on in the community. But I see that happening for the month of May for you guys. You guys um, cancer, some of you guys are going to be going to a lot of events for the month of May. So enjoy it. Enjoy the affairs. Um enjoy this is also schools and libraries some of you guys will be graduating for the month of may congratulations to my cancers that's graduating from college or whatever the case may be you some of you guys might be studying as well with library some of you guys might want to go back to school you could be in school right now so that's what i have for my cancers let me know if it resonates leave a comment below and i'll see you guys next month peace Oops.